So this guy disappears to Northern California every year and he comes back to comes back with abalone. Apparently he knows what he's doing. So let's get this out. Okay. That was some exterior wrapping. So this has been vacuum packed. Huh. It's pretty big. Let's go open this up. See what we have here. Okay, there's some liquid that I'm going to have to um, drain off. So let me come right back. So see the liquid in there? I'm going to have to I'm going to have to drain some of that liquid off. I'll be right back. All right, this is interesting. So there's a there's a tag on the abalone. And it has the purse, the guy's name. There's a location code, time. There's some other there's like the month. So we're going to get this tag off with this. So I'm going to give the abalone a quick rinse. Then we're going to pop it out of the shell with the lab with the ab iron. So, and it seems kind of, yeah, it's kind of, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to use the ab iron to get that out. So I think, I think the front of the animal, the mouth, is this end. And I think this is the rear of it. I'm not an expert in abalone. It's an interesting snail. The, the, it has these holes that are very characteristic of this type of snail and I know in the 1970s people used to use the shells for ash trays so let me um let me rinse this and I'll be right back so we're gonna pop it out using the iron and I have not done this in ages, and I do not know how to do this. So we're going to try and get the iron underneath there and pop it out. And I had, I saw this, I did watch a YouTube video on this. Okay, wait, wait. Uh -huh. I don't. I don't need the iron. It came out. It came out without the iron. Okay. That's the shell. It's a. It's a. It's a very beautiful shell. If you're interested in that type of thing. And we're gonna put the shell over there because we don't need it. The first step is we want. So this is the foot. We want to get rid of the guts. Okay. So we're gonna trim the guts away from the from the uh, the muscle basically which is what it is okay so I'm having some luck here okay I'm gonna I didn't want to I did not want that sack to open up, and that, that's the crap is going everywhere. I guess I'm not going to put that there and continue cutting it away. Let's see, the abalone eat. Ah, this is a freaking mess, this thing. Oh my gosh. All right, this is a, this is a nightmare. So we're going to, I'm going to cut the guts away. And it's very hard to hold on to. This is a pain. All right. The guts of the abalone have been cut away. So now the guts have been cut away. So now I'm going to rinse it off 
I'm gonna rinse off the abalone. Okay. All right, the board is cleaned. The abalone is um here. Now, you know, and so one thing I'm noticing the black part is just coming off because it's been frozen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just rinse this again to get this black stuff off. You know, and I'm just kind of winging it here. I haven't really done this in ages. Okay. So this entire piece of meat is pretty much edible and I don't want to waste it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to rinse and start cutting it into slices. Okay, so again, this is the foot, this is the top, the, um, the mouth or face of the abalone was here, and I've trimmed that part off where it feeds. And let me do another rinse. So we're going to cut it into slices. And I've decided to go with quarter inch slices. And okay. All right, and that's look at look at the uniformity of that meat. That is very interesting. So now I wonder this part of the meat will not be wasted. I'm going to trim it off and and it'll be cooked separately. That's 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 my decision there. Okay. So these are edible pieces, what I'm trimming off. Okay, so let me continue this staking process here. So, I'm actually cutting them into, you know, fairly, fairly wide, you know, not, not too thin. And these are going to be pounded. These are going to be pounded, these pieces. All right, so let's keep going here. And look at that solid piece of meat. It's just so uniform in in appearance so let's keep okay We're going to trim off the foot, but we're actually going to do it very carefully. So we we take the, the just the minimum the minimum amount of meat off the steak, okay? And this is a very sharp knife. Okay. 
Okay, you see what I did? I just tr I, I, I trimmed the foot off. So the foot is where the snail clamps onto the rocks, right? And, you know, I mean, if I was doing ocean fishing, some of this would make great bait, right? I'll just throw it on the newspaper. So then, let me put my steaks in this container. Okay, so let's review. The abalone was popped out of its shell. I didn't, I didn't have to use the, the iron. It came out pretty easily. There's the shell. It's, very, it's a very beautiful shell, actually. So then the guts were trimmed off and removed. Then I, I trimmed the big piece. I cut it into slices. Then after cutting it in slices, I cut off the, the, the edge where it adheres to the, to the rock. And that's what an abalone steak looks like. And so now we're going to go to the next step. We're going to pound it. Okay? We're going to pound this. And I have a couple... And we have quite a, quite a bit of meat from this abalone. There's quite a, there's quite a lot here. So let me get a mallet. I have a couple of mallets I can use. I put out some saran wrap here. So, and I don't know, there's this wooden one. I could give that a try. This metal one. So let's just grab a steak and start pounding away. See how this goes. Maybe the flat edge might work better. I think I think the flat edge is 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 working pretty well for this. There's a pounded steak, and it definitely got bigger and thinner. So these, these edges, I've been told, are edible, but I don't know. I guess I'll try and tenderize these, too. Just by hitting them, I don't... Ouch! Now, maybe if I hold it with that. So I'm going to give them a final trimming. There's some... A tougher spot along the edge. I'm just going to trim that off. Okay, so I'm pretty much done now. And let's let's take a look at what we have. So I pounded the abalone. And uh, any like tougher edges I trimmed off. So we have, you know, quite a bit of, of abalone meat. 
and this will be this will be coated in breadcrumbs and, and fried so and I'm gonna experiment with these tougher the, the, these tougher edges are slightly darker color I'm told these are edible so we'll, we'll we'll try that too so and and you know cleaning cleaning it carefully and going slowly you know I think I had minimum waste and that is how you clean an abalone and it did take quite a bit of pounding so with the pounding it got thinner and it really loosened up and tenderized, so I think it's going to be very good. And as I always say, good luck, everybody.